Oh yeah, recording already. We're starting. Okay. <laughs> okay. So to start off, right, what you wanna do is first remove your chain. Maybe you wanna tell them what are we what are we doing today actually? Okay, okay. So today we, I'll be going through how to service uh how to do a very quick service on your bike. Just a quick clean up and how to adjust your brakes together with your gears. So that everything will run smoothly. Let's say you're on a fly and you're on the road, you need to do some quick adjustments. So to start off, right, let's say we want to do a clean up for our drive train. First we have to put both our gears right to the smallest smallest cup. So you will just clean them to their smallest smallest gear ratio. So now both the front and back is like the smallest. Uh, you can use the pliers for this job actually to remove your quick link. You say you have a quick link. Uh, guys, from the people at Zoom, right, if you all have any questions right, or anything, you all just sound off. Huh? So, let's say I found my quick link. There's, there's other, other live session going on besides Zoom today. Uh, uh, I'm doing a video take. Oh, okay. okay. So, I usually drop my chain off from the crank so that it'll be, it'll be less less tension because if let's say you don't have an extra uh, quick link remover tool right you can use your pliers and this is how you would usually want to do it so you see where the hole is right for it you want to press one piece of the pliers like this and then you apply pressure and then it will just snap open so it will look something like this just like that you can use the pliers to remove your quick link so you don't need a specific specific tool for it lah. you can just use a normal pliers actually then from here you just okay. remove the chain and you put it aside first and get prepared to clean it okay, so please remember to always be careful of the quick link because it usually goes missing yeah. So that's it. Uh, if you guys need to purchase a quick link, you can come by R and E bike shop. Wow, shameless promotion. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's say I put it aside. So once you're done with that, right? You okay, can open up your brakes and remove your rear wheel. Remember to push the the derailleur back so that it will allow the cassette to slip up. And then from here. So today I am actually using as little tool as possible so that you can do this kind of quick service at home. But uh, sadly the cassette requires a spe specific specialized tool, so no choice. So this is a chain whip and this is a cassette tool. A cassette tool lock. So Oh yeah. So for, for this case right, all you have to do is put the chain whip like this on your left hand and the cassette tool on your right. You insert it and then you just apply pressure. Then you will remove the lock for the cassette. So the chain whip is to prevent it from prevent the cassette from spinning. So that Oh, you can unshred the lock, which is this piece here. Uh, is there any way where we can yes. clean the cassette without removing? Oh yes, removing? of course there is. I can show you that later. So now I remove my. I'll put my cassette aside. So if you want to remove, hey, you want to remove any grime from your cassette without, let's say, removing the whole cassette. Uh, it's best not to apply the degreaser directly onto it. Like let's say my cassette is still on right, and then I just start spraying it with water and degreaser because more likely than not right, it will, the degreaser will slip in. 
to the bearings and then it will create more drag like in the future and then the bearings might rust and everything so it's a lot can cause quite a lot of damage so the best way around it right is to take a piece of cloth something like this just like any any piece of cloth that you have that's fairly thin and say in between here all the little ridges that they have right over here start applying some um, degreaser over here and you can use any random uh, hard plastic cut I think a hard plastic cut or ruler will be best you use it as support and then you start sliding it in and out or the flossing technique uh, is like you flossing your own teeth you just floss in between each gears and try to remove it because this is like a cheat way la. it's not recommended it won't be as good of a clean but if say you just want a quick service right this will do yeah so I can demonstrate that for you later but for now we shall continue so after doing that uh, what you want to do right you say you don't want to do a full uh, service uh, I'll remove the crank next for the crank uh, you just need your allen keys and one specific specialized tool again so you can ask r and &E bike shop Uncle Melvin for any any of these tools so specifically two special tools you will need is just this flower here we call this the flower tool or actually a crank remover and another one is the chain wick and the cassette tool so how to go about the cassette right uh, usually it's size 5 or size 4 depending on um, what model it is uh, uh, yes. uh, are you able to spin, around, right? spin the, the yeah. bike over to the other end so we could take a look? Be easier. So let me adjust. Yeah. Nice. Okay, yeah, I think that would do. Okay. So there's two bolts up here. And if you spin it the other way, there's one more down here. It goes like this. Uh, give me a minute. Huh? Okay. Uh -huh. so, I want to undo them uh, evenly at the same time. That would be the best. Same goes for when you are tightening the bolts here. You want to do them evenly. Undo them and um, tighten them evenly. It will cause less stress on the on the crank arm itself. So I usually just spin them back and forth like this while I'm doing it. So after I'm doing this part, right, there's a there's a lock how they call it. It's a very small one. All you have to do is take a smaller size Allen key. It is like a size two, a very small one. Slip them in between the crank crank slip here. There's one plastic piece. All Shimano cranks have it. If uh, usually you just lift it upwards and then it will come undone here. You can see this small little plastic piece. It's quite hard to see on the camera there. You can review the recording later. And this is where the, the crank tool comes in, the flower tool. You slot it in and then you just start spinning it. Undo it. Remember, for all threading, right, uh, left is loose, right is tight. So lefty loosey and righty tighty. Yeah, the easiest way to remember things. So this is how it looks like after it's, it, it come undone. Yeah. Why why it's so special is because it's a special special kit. Mm. Yeah, you need this specific kit for it. So I put it aside for now. And once you're here, all you have to do is just pull. One side of the crank arm up. Uh -huh. Sorry, we're close. Oh, I know. I, I buy already. I want to tighten only. This part I tighten. Okay. Okay, hello. Uh, yeah. Smaller. Uh, uh, we are kind of busy. We are in a meeting we now. We are uh, a bit busy now. Alright. So once you pull your crank arm out, right? The opposite one will be a little bit harder as you need to force it out a little bit more you can just push it out oh shit nothing happened nothing happened <laughs> <laughs> so fail <laughs> 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 
can see my crank arm is extremely like extremely dirty. Let's push in, push in. <laughs> extremely dirty. Yes? Oh no no no, I'm not removing the entire BB. I just removed my crank arm only. Yeah, the, this is just a quick one. I, I'm removing my crank arm, right? It's because uh, I want to clean the, the crank arm also. Because if, let's say, I want to clean the entire drive train, right? I clean the cassette and the chain, but if I don't clean the crank arm, right? When I apply any sort of like loop or grease on it, right? It will still turn black. You get it? Because this thing is still dirty. Yeah. So I'm removing mm -hmm. this to show how to clean everything on the drive train. So, uh, Samuel, just a bit of heads up, uh, this whole session is just uh, like a quick bike maintenance, uh, like 101. Uh. So, if we, if we need to do a bike maintenance on the go, or need something fast, like then, yeah. Yeah, okay, it doesn't look basic to me anyway, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, very good. Very good. So like up to this point right, you are basically done with most of most of the drive train items already. You remove everything except the derailers. That is best not to touch the derailers. So just leave the derailers where they are. Then next uh you is recommended to apply some degreaser onto the So the what derailers. brand you're using uh? It's, uh, it's from R&E Wow, looks good huh? Recommended Okay Famous <laughs> promotion Just take it and give it a quick wipe So is there anywhere we could purchase this degreaser? Uh, it's best to come down to R&E bike shop <laughs> Bishan Street Draw Bishan Street Draw <laughs> So please beware as, uh, as you see the mistake that I've made you most most of the times right uh not all uh, not all of the times but your bike would have uh these spaces these spaces uh they are used to help help your crank right be further away from your frame because uh each frame construction is different so sometimes your uh, spacer is required yeah so please uh beware of the spaces when you are taking out your crank arm so after that, it's best to give your derailers here a quick wipe. So, like I said just now, a uh, ruler and everything will be good, right? It's so that you can, for example, now I'll give you an example. Um, I'll use this paint scraper here. <laughs> Very rusty paint scraper. Okay, but it, it, it simulates a piece of ruler or cut, okay? So you just put it over like that. Okay, so you can see. So it has a hard backbone now. And then you take it and you go in between all your little nooks and cranny on your front derailleur. Just specifically for the front derailleur because it's so hard to reach. Like this. Just stuff it in. Give it a good wipe. So for this technique right, you actually can use it on your uh, cassette also. Just go in, give it a good wipe here and there. Just yeah, it's like a uh, it's like a flossing flossing technique. Move it back and forth, a little scrub. This help remove all the grime and dirt in there. But of course, uh, the best is to remove your cassette and brush it. So, uh, once you're done with that, right, my my front derailleur is basically grind free already. Uh, or the important metal part, anyways. So as you can see, there's it's not really there's no real grease on it anymore. All the dirty, dirty grease. And then once you're done with this part, you can the frame. We will do it later on because you don't want to use your your rack with degreaser and everything to clean onto your frame. So now we move on to the rear derailleur. Then do the same to the rear derailleur. 
not too much grease but just nice for you to remove all the dirt and grime and loop that, that you have especially the jockey wheels area right you say you want to clean the jockey wheels area and they are quite hard to reach at times because of all the small little rings you can actually use an old toothbrush just any old toothbrush right spray a little bit of degreaser in it and then use it to start scrubbing it's a it's an effective way and a lot easier i use it at the shop also you can buy toothbrush from r and <laughs> 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 Scrubbing toothbrush to scrub your dry cream. So from here, just give it a quick scrub to remove all the dried up gunk and everything. It might take a while, but it is worth it to make your bike look clean and nice, you know. Help to prevent any more build up of dried gunk, grease. Remove all the dirt and everything so you can see that's it's quite dirty. Especially my bike. So over here, where it's easier to access, I can scrub lesser. Instead I can use my hand to rub off all the dirt instead. So once I'm done with this. usually pull, pull it downwards a little bit uh, to like easily access but of course um, do take note that this is for a quick service it's not what you would want to do for a thorough one Later, you can go over it one more time with a clean piece of cloth just to, you know, make it look nicer. Can we just use a degreaser and just spray onto the, the jockey wheel? Yeah, on the jockey uh, wheel. You, you, you can actually, you can. Just soak it in degreaser and everything. But, um, if it say it's still on your bike, right? Um, this way is faster. La. Okay, so now both degreasers, uh, both derailers are done, right? Uh, let's move on to the brakes, brake caliper. So I just do the same for the brake caliper. Uh, usually, I use a wet piece. I usually use a different piece actually, cause you know the previous one has a lot of grime on it. So I take a different piece here. You usually do not want to touch the brake pads, especially for carbon, carbon one. I just lightly will do a good, a good scrub. So, you see, I, I remember it's seen as I continue to scrub my brakes, it'll turn black pretty fast. So, you want to wrap around the brake, brake shoe. This is called a brake shoe, la. yeah, the holder of your brake pads. So, you want to scrub around it because there's usually they're not a lot of carbon brake dust or uh, if not then is the pet itself wearing out the, the dust I'm gonna remove all of it because it's really dirty so another way I like to do if you don't want to remove your brakes right is to squeeze the brakes when you squeeze the brakes right you can see that it exposes a lot of other other areas that has a lot of uh, dirt build up all the rope dust and rocks, little tiny rocks and everything. Let's give you a quick wipe down. So you can see from here, the cloth is significantly more dirty and everything else. Okay, so once I am satisfied with the bricks, we can move on to other areas. <laughs> I would usually take my my cloth like this and start flossing it if I don't want to remove my bricks to clean in between the bricks and the frame because the gap is really small. So yes, I'll do something like this. Yes. 
flossing it inside. Get all the nooks and crannies. Later on, I'll move on how to adjust your brakes to let's say if you're changing from a wheel from another because the distance or the diameter of it, the width, yes, the width of each wheel is different. So later I'll show you how to adjust that. Then you can, usually I will scrub this area here using a little bit of degreaser with the floor. Yes. So I'm done with that, then I'll just leave it. And I, I'll just skip the front, front brakes because you already got the point of how to clean up a brake already. So up to this point, I'll stop here and move on to cleaning your drive train. For say your drive train, right? What you want is to get the old dirty cloth again and start using some degreaser on it, right? Start cleaning it all for the dirt and grime. Just clean the shaft. This is the shaft of your crank. Then next you have all the individual the gears itself. You can choose to use either your cloth to pinch it like this. Just rest it in your arm, pinch it, and then move it outwards quickly. You can tell the difference as uh, you see the exposed metal coming up. The exposed metal color. So just sandwich it. Whereas uh, this, this technique can only be used for the outer ring. For the inner ring, this is where your trusty toothbrush will make a reappearance. So just for a bit of disclaimer, the um, this whole maintenance is for Shimano only. Or we can do it for other group sets as well. Take a toothbrush. Yeah, in the. Ah, uh, yes. So this whole bike maintenance, we can do it for other group sets or uh, just no, Shimano. This is only for Shimano. Shram is a different, different thing already. Shram is a different way, because there are cranks. Uh, the system is different itself already. You can just use a normal, normal Allen key to take it out. Yeah, but uh, Shram, although it's different, it's not too far off. But it has a few things and. The adjustments are usually different from Shimano. Yeah. It's better to talk about them separately. Yeah. So this is only for Shimano. So you usually take the toothbrush, spray the brush itself, and then start lightly scrubbing the one on the inside. Because this is for a quick one, uh, home maintenance. Brush it downwards like this is best. And start seeing the exposed metal part instead. As all the all the dirty loop wraps off. So as you continue to scrub it, right? Once you are satisfied, you can take a piece of cloth and then start wiping it. Just like this. For the front part, the inner part of the crank arm, right? It's good to wipe this area too. Okay. Back inside, give it one last wipe. You can see 
can see that there's more you can see each individual chip the shiny metal area right yeah that's where it used to be all black because of all the dirt and grime so now it's much cleaner now i can put this aside for the other arm you usually want to clean this area here because there's a lot of uh, usually you put grease there and it collects a lot of dust so you just want to wipe it off also let's wipe that off a little bit on the inside not too much yeah some light rocks they'll do just like this this for the other arm once you're done on both sides right then we can get to the more finicky bit which is Set itself. Yeah. <laughs> I think we might need a commercial break. <laughs> but for the crank, okay, for the cassette, there's uh, two two parts uh, usually. <clears throat> there's the plastic spaces. As you can see here, these small little plastic rings. These are plastic spaces. And another part is the metal gears itself. Yeah. So some metal gears, right, they are already connected as a piece, like three pieces as one. Whereas others, right, are just an individual ring themselves. These individual rings, right, they have to use the plastic spaces to space them out. Whereas this solid piece, right, where it consists of three gears together, bolted on already, they, they are one piece by themselves already. They don't require no spaces. The smaller ones, right, over here, there's also a small little sp uh, inbuilt spacer on them already. So this also require, no, there's no need for plastic spacers. Yeah. So I'll just show you how to scrub them. Scrubbing them is very easy. Just, you just want to scrub it quickly. Sadly, I can't show you guys on the webcam. But I usually just spray them down like this. All together as one. Uh, guys, I will Adjust. be uploading a video on a close up shot. Lah. So, if you guys are missing out, right, just uh, okay, look at the yeah. video. So, I just spray them like this. I'm going to see one. Hello, it's <laughs> commercial break. <laughs> commercial break. So, I just spray them like this. And I use. Yes? Uh -huh. Yes? Before you add, right, can I ask you something about the cassettes, uh, which I have always been wondering? Uh, yeah, sure, go ahead. Because now, uh, um, you, take out, you take out all the cassettes, right? It's yeah. Like all like this and that, right? Yep. Right. Correct. When you put them back together, mm -hmm. when you put them back together, is there, is there an importance of how the cassette is assembled? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, there, there's a specific way and order. Yeah, of course, there's the order, but there is one that we... Uh, you mean, uh, this, this individual pieces, whether, whether they will go like this or like this, is it? The face of it? Uh, no, no, but in terms of the... How do I explain it? Uh, like the... Okay, when you put them together, like... You know, let's say the, the clock work, uh, right? The clock. Oh, okay. Right? Yes, the I understand. In terms of... Uh, whether it will be let's say it will be like it will be placed on like this or like this on the on the cassette itself is it uh, on the on the wheel itself uh, on the clock orientation yeah the orientation yeah, of it when you put on the cassette is it three o'clock six o'clock yeah I, I'll get to that I'll get to that, oh, is that, a marker? Is that a marker? yeah there's a marker yeah. on it yeah that's why I'll get to that later yeah, okay. so for now we just focus on cleaning uh, we use okay. the toothbrush again once sure, again sure. that's a quick one. So the toothbrush right is the exact same as uh, using a bigger brush like this. For demonstration purposes, I'll use a bigger brush so that I can speed things up. If not, uh, you'll see five minutes of me scrubbing just one cassette. So usually, you want to scrub the back too. Especially this three-piece one, right? A lot of grime will be stuck in between. And it's quite hard to remove that at times. After I'm done with one, I just want to rinse it down, put it aside. Same for this other guy. So 
for demonstration now, I'll do it faster. When you're doing your own bike, you might want to do it slower and more uh, thorough and tedious. More thoroughly, I mean. For now, I'll do a brief one, a brief work. Just to give you an idea and gist of everything. You see over here, this where all the, I don't know if it's visible for you guys. There's like grime on it. Small little grinds. You just scrub them off. Like this. That's why it's uh, better and more recommended for you to, it's re recommended for you to remove your cassette. To clean it. Easier to access each cup. COG. COG. <laughs> Uh, I think you want a 10 or 5 or 10 minute break. Huh? <laughs> huh? Hmm? Commercial break. You need a, com uh, like a uh, 5 or 10 minute break. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's just do finish the cassette, then yeah. we. we commercial break, commercial we do a 5 break. or 10 minutes break. So, um, usually the plastic spaces, um, you don't need to wash them that thoroughly. So, once you're done with all of the 11. 11 cups and spices. Just squeeze them out. Mm. Let them dry. Mm. Please remember to let all your metal metal pieces, especially your dry frame, to dry properly. In the exposed sun is best. Because if not, they might start to rust slightly. So these guys, I usually just lightly spray them with degreaser. Rub them in my hands. And just remove. Remove the degreaser because they do not have a lot of dirt on it. So just lightly and done. You are done with the cassette. Now you just have to let them out to dry. Yep. So we'll be back and later on we'll move on to the chain. Okay, commercial break. <laughs>